I was kind of surprised to read the headline in today's State Journal about how Bishop Morlino of Madison blames a gay subculture for sexual abuse inside the church. He wrote a five-page letter outlining his views in light of the recent uh, allegations of sexual abuse involving children in the Pittsburgh Diocese. The bishop has come out in the past uh, on gay marriage, certainly the longtime choral director at the parish in Verona, who was gay, uh, prompted the bishop to order his dismissal. I mean, this is not a new stance for the bishop, but in this case, we should point out, I think that pedophilia, criminal behavior, criminal assaults against children, that has nothing to do with homosexuality or heterosexuality, which involves consenting adults, acts between consenting adults. It's separate from your views of the Bible about the act of homosexuality. That's completely different from legality. We're talking here about criminal activities. To say that a pedophile is predisposed to be gay is not correct. They could also be heterosexually predisposed. It's not about consenting adults. It's not about hetero or hetero homosexuality. It's about criminal behavior. People who commit sexual abuse and acts of sexual assault against children should be in jail, not just moved around inside the priesthood from parish to parish, as we've seen in other dioceses throughout history in the Catholic Church. We saw the spotlight movie about the abuse in Boston involving hundreds of priests over time, here we're talking about a thousand children over decades. No, we have to separate these things. And I'm not yelling at the bishop, I'm just simply saying that criminal behavior is criminal behavior. Consenting behavior among adults is consenting behavior among adults. We have to be clear on our definitions, and those are my two minutes, my two cents. It's brought to you by Capital Consultants and Edge Construction. Mike Tuick can redo your kitchen, your bathroom, your basement, your staircase, make your home feel just like home. We can argue about this and more next time on Two Minutes with Mitch.